Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn to read and write Hindi. We are also here because we want to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both at the same time. Today is our lesson number 23. Yesterday, yesterday and day before yesterday, on day number 21, we started a new topic. Starting from day 21, day 1 through 20, we did the matras. We learned five matras, four days each. And on day number 21, we started a new, new topic uh, about the letters, 10 letters that exist in Hindi, but they do not exist in Urdu. Because they do not exist in Urdu, we have to improvise it. Day before yesterday, on day number 21, and there are 10 of them. So we're doing two per lesson. Hence, there are five parts. Today is part 3 of 5. So day before yesterday, on day number 21, we learned B and we learned P. These two letters, as you can see, they do not exist in Urdu, so we have to combine P and H. To make a B, we have to combine B and H. Yesterday, we learned T and T. And today, we'll do a pair, J and CH. J and CH. The words beginning with or containing these sounds. And you'll see, as, and we'll see in a second, then again we have to do the same thing to make a J, to make this sound, J, we have to do the same thing as you would do in English, which is to take the J and put it with H, to make a J. That's exactly what this is. To make a CH sound, CH is a little tricky because in English, in English alphabet, they don't even have the letter for CH. So in English, you'll write your CH like this, and to convert the CH into a CH, you'll put a under H. So that's what this concept is. This is a ch and a h together. We'll do words containing or beginning with this letter ch and j. Let's begin, shall we? The very first word, so first we're gonna do some first we're gonna do some words with j and then we'll come to ch in a second. The very first word that we're about to write will contain Bari Uki Matra. So this is not only we're learning the letters, the 10 letters that do not exist in Urdu, not only we're learning these letters right now, but in the process, we're getting sort of a refresher uh, of the matras. We learned, we are just revising the five matras that we have already learned because they come up in the words. Here's the first one with uki matra. And how do we make uki matra in Urdu? Well, for example, it's a ja. So ja technically, let's talk about ja first before we start. This ja that you see there, is technically jeem, this is called jeem, and do chashmi hai. Do chashmi hai is right here. The purpose of this hair, do chashmi hai, we have four hairs in Urdu, we talked about it yesterday and day before yesterday. This last hair is called do chashmi hai, do chashmi hai. Do chashmi hai because it looks like chashmi, uh, spectacles, glasses, do chashmi hai. We take a jeem, ja, and combine it with a ha, just like here, to make a ja. And when jeem is about to join another letter, the short form of G looks like this. So you take your short form of G and you continue with it like this. J. That's what this is. How do we make a how, how do we make a Oki Matra? We take a J right here, J, and to which we have to combine wow. This letter is called wow, and that makes a J. Or oh, we're looking for Oki Matra, not Oki Matra. Okay, we'll, we'll come. We're talking about Badi Uki Matra. How do we make bird? So let's start the short Uki Matra first. This is J. If you mark a short Uki Matra, you put a symbol on it called Pesh. The symbol is called Pesh, and that will convert the J into a Ju. As I have told you before, on a number of occasions, As I've told you before on a number of occasions, Urdu I do know because I did learn it in previous life many many years ago and I'm relearning it. Hindi is something brand new to me. I'm learning Hindi as I'm doing this video, so but was the, which was the whole motivation for me to do this thing because I wanted to learn to read and write Hindi. So hence hence sometimes hesitations and sometimes some mistakes. The Sajjab. 
and we put this symbol on top of it, it's, it's called Pash, and that converts Jo into a Ju. But we don't want Ju, we want Badi Uki Matra, Ju, longer. So it, it, go, it has to go the other way around. It goes like this. It goes like this. And how do we make a Badi Uki Matra? Instead of, a, instead of putting a Pash there, we combine a vowel, it's going to take a vowel, and an ulta pesh. This is called ulta pesh, upside down pesh. And when I combine the two, we get ju. Ju vowel joints. There you go, ju. And now we need ta. T, t, and a, ta. Let's rewrite it so that I have, I have room to continue with this thing. So this is a j and a vowel. And we put an ulta page that becomes a ju, and now we take a te and an alif. And that makes juta. Juta is in something that is la that is a lie, something that is fake, that's something that is not real. Juta. How do we combine te, te and alif? It's very simple. Instead of making such a huge one, we make a small one. We make a small one and we continue our alif. Juta. So this is our ju and then te and alif juta. So this word has two matras in it. We have badi uki matra, we have badi uki matra and we have aki matra, juta, as in fake. Let's take a next one, let's take a look at next one, which will have choti oki matra. No, choti oki matra, not uki matra, choti oki matra. And how do we make oki matra in Urdu? Well, you simply take your letter, for example, ba, and you combine it with a wow. Same letter as this one, wow. And you combine it, it becomes a bow. So this is bow. Bow. And then we have a j. Boj. Boj means something that's weighty, something that's a burden. Boj, weight, burden. Something that is onerous, onus. If you don't know this word, look it up and learn it. Onus. Boj. Onus is a noun. Adjective would be onerous. Boj. How do we combine be and a o? Be and a wow? It's very simple. The be becomes very small. Like this. And it joins the wow. Boj. And that thing sits by itself. Ja sits by itself. Boj. Boj means weight. Something that is heavy. Something that is a burden. Something that is a duty. A responsibility, boj. Let's do the next one. Again, j. Then a g. Gaf, that's called gaf. Jug. And then a re. And ali. Ra. Jagra. You know, jagra, eh? Jagra just means. A quarrel, a fight. If you have a fight with somebody, if you have a, a quarrel with somebody, that's a jagra. Let's put them together. Let's, we can do them in the bottom here. So this is what happens. This is our jo, and this is our go, and then the row is going to continue. Jagra. That's what it looks like when it's put together. Jagra. Let's do the next one. Next one with choti uki matra. J. Not ja, sorry. J. And we need choti uki matra. So that looks like this. And the exact same symbol. Looks, symbol looks exactly the same, except it goes on the top in Urdu. In the Urdu, it goes on the top. We need a dot here for J. So that's a ju. Ju. And then a kaf. That's a ka. That letter is called kaf. Juk. Na. Jukna. Jukna means to bow. To bow. Jukna. Let's put them together. So what's going to happen is that, well, let me let me write a right and it. So it's, it's a j, and then a kaf continues. This is kaf, and then a na. Jukna. To bow. Let's do next one with Bariuki Matra. 
बड़ी ऊकी मात्रा ये बोले वो बड़ी ऊकी मात्रा है आखी मात्रा जो तत्पिक पर जा चा एंड देन रे दिस इज कॉल्ड रे इट मेक्स अर्डो इज अर्डो बट वी नीड अ छोटी ऊकी मात्रा और यू मेक छोटी ऊकी मात्रा इन उर्दू You put a waf waf next to it, and it takes the ulta pesh. Jaru. Except in this case, unlike all the other cases, waf does not join the re. Re does not join any letter that comes to the left. Any letter that looks like this, re, uh, re, z, re, dal, zal. If I can find them, there is a dal, there is a re. Those letters of this shape, anything that comes to the left of them, they do not join anything. They stay by themselves. What does it read? Ja, lu, jaru, jaru. You know what jaru is? Jaru is a uh, sweeper that we used to sweep our floor. Jaru. Just one more. Ah, the one with badi uki matra. Ah, the one with badi uki matra. There is jo. We can take a vowel and a ulta press. That makes a badi uki matra. Ju. Ju, and then to jute, jute, jute doesn't lie, jute. Jo, wow, ulta pesh, and then to. Because because te comes at the end by itself, it is much longer and bigger, as opposed to when we made a ta, ta in ta looks like this. This is ta. You see the difference? This is ta, because it joins the alif. But here, because it te comes at the very end by itself, it takes the full form. Jute. So those were some examples I had. The words containing or beginning, words kind of beginning with j or containing j. Let's look at ch. So ch. You take a letter. This letter is called Che. This letter is called Che. That's the name of the letter Che. We take the letter Che and we combine it. We combine it with. Don't touch me here. I'm going to get rid of this marker. It's very light. Just like we've been doing. And now it becomes Che. So this part is this part is C H, and this part is H. And that makes a ch. It was going to look like this. Ch. And ch in Hindi looks like this. Ch. I know ch because we write it all the time when we are writing on the top the heading, chotiyo ki matra, badiyo ki matra. So we have to write. I have to write ch and I have to write ra. So I know my ch and I know my ra because I have written many times. Ch. Let's do the very first word. So this letter is called che, che and do chashmi here. We combine che and do chashmi here. The first word we're going to do is it's going to have badiyo ki matra, cho, 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 and then it's going to take a wow. So far, it just makes a cho. We don't want cho. We want longer o. We want cho. So it takes a zubber. Zubber goes on top of the letter cho. And now it becomes cho, and then te and choti e. This letter is choti e. Choti e is required whenever we have a badi ki matra. Anything in Ur in Hindi there is a badi ki matra. Badi ki matra in Urdu takes a letter called choti e. Te and choti e is going to make a t. Choti. Let's put them together. So there is your cho, and then a wow. Don't forget the zubber because zubber is what makes it the body. This zubber, this extra symbol that you do there, this zubber is what makes it the body, body uki matra. 
with just wow it would have been chotioki matra cho and then here's your te and then choti 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 let's do the next one choti the next what we're going to do we'll have a badi ki matra cho and then a to and then re and choti that's the badi ki matra Chatri, Chatri, Chatri as in umbrella, Chatri. Now here's the interesting part. This letter that we learned on the very first day, we learned it out of necessity. And the letter what I'm talking about is this one, Tra. Let's talk about it for a second. This letter right here, Tra. As I explained to you, to explain to you in the very on the very first day, day number one, this sound does not exist in Urdu. We do not have Tra sound. Tra, the best we can do is to approximate, and when we approximate, we write it as ta and a ra, tar. But that, that, that's, that's, that's the sound of tar. It doesn't produce the sound of tra. We don't have the sound, therefore we don't have the letter. Now what happened was, this is how we write chatri. Let me first finish writing it in Urdu. And it's a good thing that I caught myself because this, this spelling is wrong. So here's a cha. This is the and then a re and choti. This is how you write chatri. As I wrote it, it's a good thing I checked myself. And when I did it, I realized that this was the wrong spelling of chatri. That's not how you spell chatri in Urdu. We learned this letter tra purely out of necessity because on the very first day I had to learn to write the word matra. Matra. Ma tra. And I had to learn. I had to learn this letter. That's the only way you can spell matra, and that's how that's how we learn tra. But after that time, after the, the only time that I have used this letter tra, is when I write matra on the blackboard. And that's the only time I had I had not come across any other word where I where I had to employ tra sound. Because as I said, I'm a Urdu speaker, so the words that I'm covering mostly uh, we don't have the letter, we don't have the sound, so I this just didn't come up until I came across the word Chatri. Chatri is also a Urdu word. And this is how we spell it. But this spelling is wrong. Because it has tra sound in it. Tra in a ra, tra. So it requires tra. Not tra in a ra, but tra. So I learned that Chatri is spelled like this. Ch, and then tra. This is your tra. Chatri. I hope I spell it correctly. Yes, Chatri. Ch, three, three, Chatri. That spelling is wrong. Chatri is an umbrella. Let's do next word. A word containing with Badioki matra. Chatri is an umbrella. Ch and then wow, that makes a cho. That makes a cho. But as you can see, right, so far it is, so far it is chotio ki matra. We need a longer O. We need cho, not cho, but cho. So we put a zabar on top of the cho, and that zabar calls for a second one. And that makes the cho. 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 And then te. Te and alif. Chota. Chota is in small. Little. Chota as you know is a masculine. If you wanted a feminine, Hindi is very easy to fix. We need a badi ki matra. It's very easy to fix. Instead of a aki matra, instead of aki matra, you have a badi. Badi ki matra. 
But in Urdu, it's not that easy to fix just just by changing like that. We we'll have to get rid of this alif and put a choti here. Just rewrite it, shall we? This is cho, choti oki matra. Now it is badi oki matra. Then we take our te and we combine with choti here. Choti, chota, choti. Let's do next one. Be with a choti iki matra. This is this the this symbol is called zer. This symbol is called zer. It goes at the bottom of the letter and it converts b into a b. It's a choti iki matra. So here we take a b. Choti iki matra makes a b. Then a ch. We don't need a ch. We need a o ki matra. So it's going to combine with wow. But we don't need choti o. We need badi o. So we put a zebra on top of this thing, and that makes a b ch. And then noon and alif. Bichona, bichona. So this particular word has three matras in it. Three matras. It begins with. It begins with choti, choti iki matra, right here. Choti iki matra, right there. Then it has badi oki matra. Badi oki matra is this guy right here, the zabar, and a vowel. Make a badi oki matra, and then finally, of course, tia ki matra. Alif. This is called alif, right there. Bichona. Now we have to figure out how to put them together, and putting them together is a little tricky. So first, I'm going to put them together in a babyish way, like a child, and then we'll work. Then we'll work on it. We'll improve it. So here's your bow. This zero ne das tan. Then you put your ch and then a vowel. They jump combined. You understand? They join. Don't forget the zabar. That's bicho and na sits by itself. Bicho na. Now I'm going to rewrite it in a little bit of a grown-up handwriting, a handwriting of a grown-up person. The way it's written is not wrong. This is how a child would write it, and it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly correct. There is nothing wrong with it. Let's write it a little bit differently. See what happened here is that we have to write the b first, and then we have to lift our hand. We don't lift our hand when we are writing. B, cho, no. That's how it should look like. Bichona. Do you know what the bichona is? Bichona is the bedding. It's a bedding. Bichona. Let's do another word. So we're going to go from one extreme to the other. We just wrote a word with three matras. Let's write a word just for the sake of simplicity. Just for the sake of simplicity, let's write a word with no matras. Not only no matras, but a word containing only two letters. It cannot get any simpler than that, because obviously you can't have a word with just one letter. But in English, in the English language, we do. We have a we have a word I, and that's about the only one that I know of. Uh, that. Uh, Actually, there are there are maybe others, but in our language, in yours and mine, in Urdu and in Hindi, I have never seen a word with just one one letter. So the two letter is the minimum we can have. So we can have a word with two letters and absolutely no matra. Here we go. Very simple word. Ch. Ch. I'm not sure it's supposed to go this low. It's supposed to go a little bit higher. Ch and a t. Chat. I hope this is not a. I hope this is also a Hindi word. I hope you use the same word in Hindi. I'm not sure about it, but chat in Urdu means a roof. I'm sure you have the same word. Chat, roof. Let's do another one with no matras. Absolutely no matras at all. Except this word will have three letters in it. Uh, 
a meme, meme, mo, and then a cho. Now when I say three letters, when I say this this word that we are about to write will have three letters, that is true for Hindi. But technically speaking, for Urdu it's not three letters because as you know this is this is not one letter. This is this is this is a combination of cho and a her. That's what this is. But for the sake of simplicity, we just call it one letter. Ma cho. We need cho. Ma cho and then ro. Macho. Do you know what a machar is? Of course you know what machar is, it's a very common word. It means mosquito. We have them quite a lot in the in the in the summertime. Machar. Let's put it together, shall we? So me meme as you know, when it's written by itself, it takes this form. It starts from the top and it goes to the bottom like this. But when it's about to join something, it starts from the bottom. That's the meme. Those are the same. Same letters. Except this is how it looks like when it's about to join something. This is how it looks like when it appears at the end of the word by itself. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to raise our meme and we're going to join it. Macho. And we're going to bring our row a little bit down. Macho. Mosquito. Now we're going to rewrite it so that it looks a little bit of a grown up writing without lifting hands. Not hands rather, hand, one hand. Ma, cho, ro. That's how it looks like. Machcha. Machcha is in mosquito. Let's do one more. Again, ma, cho. Let's leave it alone. Ma, cho. And this word that we are about to write will have badi ki matra. Ma, cho. And then lam, that's a lo. And as we just said, it's, it's going to take a badi ki matra, so we need a cho to you. What does it read now? It reads muchly. You know what muchly is? Muchly is a fish. Muchly. We all eat muchly. Let's put them together, shall we? You can actually do it here if you want. That's much. And then you continue here. You, you make your lam. And it should be muchly. One more time. Muchly. Whether whether it looks nice and round like this, or whether it looks the way, I, the way it came out, is perfectly fine. It's readable. It's perfectly readable. It's perfectly legible. Legible and readable, they're same. They homonyms. They mean the same thing. Something that can be read is readable. Something that can be read is legible. This handwriting is perfectly legible. Mostly. Let's do one last word. Very last word which I have in my list actually, which in my list actually it was not the last, it's not the last word, it was somewhere in the middle of my notes here. I skipped over it because as I was going through the lecture here, I kept debating in my mind, do I really want to cover this word or not? Let's do it, shall we? Let's co cover it. Because it involves, because it involves a concept that we have not learned yet. We have not covered it yet. And I am actually going to make a video, separate video, perhaps two videos, to cover the concept, to, to cover different words, example of, of words, which might end up taking two videos. I will cover this concept. It's a very important concept that we have to learn, which involves the usage, usage of half letters. In Hindi, you have half letters. The concept of half letters does not exist in Urdu. So how do we get around it? I'll show you. Let's write the word first. Cho. Cho, let me rewrite this cho, it looks very ugly. Oh, that's much better, I like it. Cho, and then a half bo, you see half bo, because I did not make a full bo. I did not, I did, we do not make a full bo and then put another bo, it's not bo bo, it's just half bo. Half bo means you don't put this stick, you, you leave out this stick. That's a half bo. To which you're going to put another full bar. Chup. So, so far it read chup, bo, chup, and this is going to take a body ki matra. Chup b. So far it says, so, so far it says chup b. And then we're going to put a so. Chubbies. You know what chubbies means? Chubbies means 26. 
That's why we said 26, chabbis, in our counting. And again, I hope the counting in Hindi is the same. I never actually looked into it. Chabbis, I hope it's the same count, same system of counting. You know, bees, ikis, bais, teis, chobis, pachis, chabbis. As you see, it's because the chabbis, the burr sound is heard twice. Burr is pronounced two times. In bees, ikis, bees, ikis, bais, teis, chobis, pachis, you hear, there are no letters that are repeated. Chabbis, you can hear it. Chabbis, then it goes back to satais, satais, untis, tis. Chabbis. Let's write it in Urdu. So here's the ch. And there is the burr, but we're going to pronounce this word twice. If a letter is to be pronounced twice, as I said, we don't have this system of half, half letters. We don't have the system in Urdu. So if the letter is to be pronounced twice, we put a small symbol on it, which looks like a W. It looks exactly like a W. It's very tiny. And this symbol is called, this symbol has a name obviously, it's called Tash Tashdeed. It looks exactly like W. Tashdeed. So any any letter that has the Tashdeed on top of it, that's your way of telling the reader, pronounce this letter twice. First time just half and then second time the full. So it's no longer reads Chub, it's read Chubb. And then we don't need Chabba, we need Badi Kimatra, so then it's going to take a yeah, and then a scene. Let's put it all together and see how it looks in the final form. It's going to look very different. I don't want to erase this thing because I want you to have it for you. But then again, we have no, I left no room for myself. So first thing first, when Choti Ye, we, again this is something we have done many many times, when Choti Ye or Badi Ye, when Choti Ye or Badiye, where did we put them? Chotiye and Badiye, we put them right there. When Chotiye or Badiye, when they appear in the middle of the word, it takes this form. Oh, well, we're almost done. All we have to do is bring everything, join them together. That's all. That's all it is. We just have to join them together. Chub, B, Chub. B, so this is the B part. That's why the B is pronounced twice. First is this chub, and then the same B joins the Y, a choti Y, to make a B. That's the Badi Kimatra. Chabbis. That's how we write Chabbis. Chabbis means 26. And there are many, many words in counting. Many words in counting where we have to employ Tashtid. Not just in counting, there are of course many words besides the counting, but in counting itself, let's see if I can very quickly think of some more. I'm going to very quickly count, very quickly count, see if I can think of any. Ek, do, tin, char, panche, sat, no, dust, there's nothing in there. Yigyara, bara, tera, chodha, pandra, sola, satra, atara. Unnis, there is the first one. Unnis. Unnis. N is pronounced twice. Unnis. We're not going to write it right now, because we are here to run ch, that's why I covered it. Unnis. B, C, K, S, B, S, T, S, Ch, B, S, P, Ch, S, P, Ch, S, No, Ch, B, S, Ch, B, S, There you go, Ch, B, S, So, T, S, T, S, Un, T, S, T, S, Ikat, T, S, B, T, S, T, S, T, S, Ch, T, S, P, T, S, Ch, T, S, N, T, S, R, T, S, Un, T, S, Ch, S, I, T, S, B, L, S, T, S, Ch, T, S, P, S, T, S, Ch, S, R, T, S, R, T, S, Un, Ch, S, P, Ch, S, K, O, N, B, O, N, T, R, P, N, Ch, P, N, P, Ch, P, Ch, P, N, P, Ch, P, N, 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 Ch, P, I can't think. Here's one I thought of. Nove. Nove. Ninety. Nove. Then there are many more. Ikatar, Bhatar, Tita, Chota, Pichata, Chata, Satatar, 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 Satatar. Seventy-seven would have it too. Satatar, Atatar, Unnasi, Unnasi. There you go. Unnasi would have it. That's how we say seventy-nine. Unnasi. No is pronounced twice. Unnasi. And then Asi, Unasi, Asi, Ikasi, Bayasi, Terasi, Chorasi, Pichasi, Chiasi, Satasi, Atasi, Unave, Nove, Nove, Nove. You see? The word is pronounced twice. Nove, Nove, Ikanave, Bayanave, 
ਤਰਾਨਵੇ ਚੋਰਾਨਵੇ ਪਚਾਨਵੇ ਚਾਨਵੇ ਸਤਾਨਵੇ ਠਾਨਵੇ ਨਿਨਾਨਵੇ ਸੋ ਬਟ ਦੇਰ ਆਮ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਦੇਰ ਆਮ ਮੈਨੀ ਦੇਰ ਆਮ ਮਿਸਡ ਬਟ ਦੈਟਸ ਦੀ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਮੈਨੀ ਵਰਡਸ ਇਨ ਕਾਊਂਟਿੰਗ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਸਪੈਲ ਥੈਮ ਆਊਟ ਇਟ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਸ ਥਿਸ ਕਾਨਸੈਪਟ ਫੋਰ ਫਸਟੇਟ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਵੀ ਵਰ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਸ਼ੋ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਈ ਆ ਵਾਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਬੈਕ ਐਂਡ ਫੋਰਥ ਅਪਟਿਲ ਦ ਵੈਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਡੂ ਆਈ ਰੀਲੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਡ ਔਰ ਨਾਟ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਟਰਨ ਇਨਟੂ ਅ ਲੌਂਗ ਥਿੰਗ ਦਸ ਹਾਵ ਇਟ ਇਸ ਆਲ ਸੀ ਟੂਮੋਰੋ ਓਕੇ ਟੂਮੋਰੋ ਵਿਲ ਡੂ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਪੇਅਰ and tomorrow by tomorrow we will have covered eight of the 10 letters and then we'll do one more part the fifth part we'll do the remaining two words there are 10 of them as i said i know